and welcome to BFS Wargaming. We're here for another battle report. Patrick is back on the channel with the Drukhari. I am. So we're having a bit of a rematch. So we've both changed our lists since the LGT. Um, and we're going to see how they go. So you might have seen in my video on the LGT. Um, I didn't do so well or as well as I wanted to. I went um, two and three. How did you do in the end, was it? Uh, not so great either. I went 0-5 uh, actually. Oh, okay. So it's a, yeah. it's a bit of a rough one. But... Yeah. Yeah. So we've made some adjustments. We're going to see um, how the lists do. So all of the terrain is from Mad Gaming Terrain, which the links is available from 4TK Gaming. The links are in the description. We have a Discord. This is also a link in the description if you want to come and join that. Um, please like and subscribe because it really, really helps the channel. So we are actually doing one of the LGT missions, which is the Crucible of Battle um, and its priority targets and Chilling Rain. So nice. we're going to try that out and see how our armies play and see if they're more effective or less effective than what we thought they were. Um, so we'll go into the armies and then we'll come back with deployment. Okay, Necrons, 2,000 points. So um, this is a very similar list to what I took to the LGT, but it's a slight change. We've got some heavy lock cluster, two units of three heavy lock cluster destroyers. They look like just normal ones, but they're actually heavy. And the heavy one is actually a lock cluster lord. So a um, little bit of proxy, but uh, I don't think it's going to affect anything. So we have two hex mark destroyers, um, no Septimal Weave anymore. We have the Technomancer who has the Sovereign Coronal. Oh, and the lock cluster lord does have the Veil of Darkness. We have two Triarch Stalkers with Heat Rays, the three Doomsday Arcs, we have three units of three Wraiths, and the two units of five Flayed Ones. I feel like I haven't got that much, but um, you know, hopefully it's gonna score some points. Um, I think that is it, and I think I'm gonna take Fixed. Okay, so this is my 2K Drakari list, um, what I've changed after LGT, basically. So um, to, to lead them, I've got uh, an Arken with the Art of Pain, uh, to give me a uh, pain token in my command phase if he's on the battlefield. Uh, I've still got the Death Jester as my only other character. Um, so for battle line, uh, three units of Cabalite Warriors. Um, so I've got Mandrakes going in reserve. Scourges, um, with, all with Dark Lances. Three Ravagers, uh, all, all Lances again. Um, I've got uh, Talos with Haywire Blasters. Liquifiers and Talos Gauntlet, um, three Venoms, three units of Mandrakes, and two Kronos. And I think that is it. Okay, deployment. We have uh, Flayed Ones infiltrated up, some in the middle there, some over there. We have Wraiths, Doomsday Arcs, more Wraiths, and Triarch Stalkers, and another Triarch Stalker here. Some Heavy Lock Cluster Destroyers, Lock Cluster Lord, another Doomsday Arc, and a Technomancer. In reserves, I have two Hexmark Destroyers in Deep Strike, and then another unit of Lock Cluster Destroyers in Strategic Reserves. In Strategic Reserves for the um, Drukhari, there's two units of Talos and a Kronos. Then we have some Mandrakes that have infiltrated. Then we have Venom and Cabalites. Obviously, the Cabalites are all split into fives. We have the Death Jester. We have some more. Um, Ravagers and Scourge and all the Dark Lances you could ever wish for or Kronos. More Mandrakes at the back here doing some screening and then some more Cablites, uh, Ravager and Venom there. So, who's going to go first? Ooh, let's find out. Let's find out. Well, I've rolled a one. I've rolled a two. Oh. I go first. You indeed. I'm not sure if I wanted to go first, but yeah. I'm going first. I feel like going second is quite often an advantage these it days. It sometimes yeah. is, yeah, it depends, I think. Depends. It does, yeah, I think there, there have definitely been some times I'd want to go first. I will but. say we've both taken tactical missions. I have taken deploy teleport homers and bring it down. Because Oh, fixed, yeah, fixed. So yeah, I, I, fixed. Went, I went uh, deploy teleport homers and cleanse. Yes, so a nice fixed game again. It will be. I Me and you love a fixed game. We do, we do love a fixed <laughs> okay, game. Okay, so we're going to go into Necron. Okay, turn one, command phase. So I have the deployed Telebot Homers, which I can do with my flayed ones, which infiltrated. Um, they're very useful like that. And then over here, I've got some flayed ones that can get on an objective and hopefully hold that. Um, and then it's just about not being able to shoot anything because it's all hiding. Um, so yes, yeah, all about positioning, I think, turn one, try and get some good positioning. Um, I know that 
obviously there's a lot of firepower coming to bear so I need to be very careful how I move and how I position myself because I could get blown off the board. The Wraiths and Triarch Stalker, the Wraiths advanced up, Triarch Stalkers mo moved up there. The Wraiths and Triarch Stalkers advanced up here and the Flayed Ones moved in. These Flayed Ones were doing deployed Teleport Homers. These have, they shuffled a little bit, they moved up a little bit. Um, and that is, that is my turn. There's nothing to do. I could have charged some Mandrakes, but um, I didn't feel like it was worth it. I might regret that later when they're scoring millions of points but <laughs> for now um, I think it was the right decision so we're going to go into turn one for Drukari I scored the three points for deployed teleport homers so let's see what happens okay so uh, turn one command phase for Drukari um, so obviously Patrick's played quite cagey here so there's not a lot I can really shoot so I think for me it's mostly just going to be about moving up onto some key points, uh, scoring my secondaries, and not throwing anything out where he can see it, basically. Movement, these Mandrakes moved out and they are cleansing. These Mandrakes in here are cleansing. The uh, Cabalites and the Scourge have moved up. Oh, it's a bit dark. Uh, and then these all sort of shuffled around over here. Um, we have the Venom back here and the Duff just are. Yeah, a little bit of Oh, These Cabalites um, advanced up, but they've got assault weapons, so they are doing deploy teleport homers. Indeed. And that's a bit. Nothing else really moved around there, did it? Uh, no, basically everything here stayed stayed where it was. Okay, so we're going to go into Necron's turn two. Okay, Necron's turn two command phase. Um, so I can kill some Mandrakes. Definitely. <laughs> um, I feel like I need to do something about the impending doom of Talos. They could be a problem for me. So I need to make sure that they're not gonna just come in and kill me so yeah basically that's the plan kill some mandrakes get some more deploy screen out some talos to make sure they're not gonna come in and kill me is is the plan uh, bring it down it's gonna have to wait i'm pretty sure that i won't be scoring that until sort of turn four or five so mm. we'll see we'll see uh, but yeah let's go into turn two Okay, turn two, movement. So the Wraiths have jumped out. Um, this Hex March Destroyer has dropped in here to screen out the Talos. Uh, these Wraiths have moved up from here. These guys have sort of shuffled a little bit. Doom's Arcs have stayed where they are apart from this one. who shuffled back just a touch to cast out a range of them Talos because they are brutal. Um, and that is about it. So the Flayed Ones are deploying Teleport Homers. And then we've just got a little bit of shooting. So we're going to start off with the Hex March Destroyer. And he's going to do six shots into the Mandrakes. So they, I will be minus one to hit. Yes, a range, yeah. So I'll be hitting on freeze. Ooh. Ooh. Not very good. Wounding on two. Toughness three, yeah, uh, twos. Minus two. Five up and vulnerable. Uh, make one fail one. So I okay. use a Mandrake. Uh, I guess I'll kill this one. I don't think it really matters which one I've pulled, does it? Ooh. Okay. Then next up, we will shoot the Doom's Dark at the back at them for five, six shots because plus one and, oh no, wouldn't be, be five shots because there's only four of them now. 
No blast. Just say you did that first, if you like. Huh? Just say you did that first, if you like. Nah, that's right. right. So only two hits. <laughs> One wound. He does die. Okay. And then three shots. Uh, sorry, nine shots from the Wraiths. So I'll be hitting on freeze because they're minus one. Wounding on freeze. So that is a devastating wound. Okay, so I'll lose one immediately. Sorry. That's right. Um, and then five saves. I think we're about to see some dead mandrakes. We are indeed. So off they go. First blood. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, that is my turn. Nice. Patrick gave me one thing to kill. I did. And I killed it. Okay, um, I did. yeah, I think that is the turn. There's not much else I could, well, I could charge the Cabalites. You could. Do I want to, though? There is probably enough room for your bases there, so I think you're definitely okay to do that if you want to. I'm not going to. I'm going to stay on the objective and make you shoot them. Okay, so Patrick came out and killed the Mandrakes, not completely unexpected. So I need to, I need to try and kill them off that. The um, Wraiths. Yeah, the Wraiths, because ideally I want to cleanse there. But the issue I've got is that Patrick has two, can overwatch twice because of the hex, the, mark. The hex mark over there. So if I move my cabal lights out, they can be overwatched. And if I move my scourges up, they can be overwatched as well. So I've got a little bit of a problem. I may not be able to cleanse twice this turn, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Okay, movement. These Cabalites moved out onto here. I chose not to overwatch them because the only things that go overwatch from the Wraiths and I'd worked out that basically I might kill one if I'm lucky. Um, and then these other Cabalites moved out and they're deploying Teleport Homers yeah. and then one's doing cleanse. Who's doing cleanse over here? The Mandrakes? Um, so I think the uh, regular Cabalites will okay, do yeah. cleanse, yeah. And, and then uh... these Scourge moved out to get shots onto the um, Wraiths along with the Death Jester. Yes. These Talos have dropped in from Strategic Reserves to kill the Hexmark. And that's about it. It's been some shuffling. A little bit of shuffling A little around. bit of shuffling. Okay, so shooting phase. Okay, let's go. Who so do to start with? Let's start with the... Oh, so firstly, I need to do all my empowering. Oh, yes. So I am going to empower the Scourges, uh, who might get one back. And the Talos. Talos, yeah. Um, so I actually had a, uh, I don't know if people will, will care too much about this, but I had an interesting, so um, at LGT. Yeah. Basically, there's a weird thing with, with Pain Tokens and, and the, the Kronos getting them back. So I had a situation where I can't remember how many Pain Tokens I had, but I only had like one or two left. Yeah. And I had a whole bunch of units that I wanted to empower. So what I was thinking was, can I kind of do these empowerings one at a time? And if I keep getting them back from the Kronos, just keep spending them till I eventually run out, even though I only started with one or two. Um, I don't know. And I, I didn't know either. Well, we'll um, ask the internet. Yeah, we'll ask the internet. Carry the players, let us know. Yeah, so I asked uh, one of the judges at LD2, said no. Um, but reading the wording, I honestly don't think it really Probably says either way. if the judge said no. Yeah, that's what I reckon. Um, but yeah. So you're empowering the Scourge and... Uh, Scourges and, and the, the Talos. So, so can you I'm, get one back from the Scourge? I might do. do. I do. So I've just spent the one on yep. the Talos. So I think I will start with the Talos because obviously they're, they're only yep. shooting the one target. So um, let's start with the Haywires. Yep. Hitting on fours but re-rolling because I empowered them. So we've got two hits so far. Yep. And... Three hits. That is three hits. Um, they are strength three, and your top is five. So I'm wounding on fives with sixes doing dev wounds. Yep. So I'm hoping for some sixes. I don't get them. Do I want to re-roll those? I don't think I do. I think I will just re-roll that one from being twin linked. So three wounds at minus one. Okay. Four up in buns. Damage three. Yeah, damage three. 
Ooh. Takes three damage. Cool. How many moves does he have? Six. Six? Okay, so I've... Got to do the down to half. Yeah, I've got to do the rest with liquefiers. I don't know how much I like that. I think I'd be lucky. Right, let's see. So 2d6 from the liquefiers. That's... Four? Four. If I spend a CP to re-roll, do I re-roll re -roll both of them? Probably not. I would re-roll one, wouldn't yeah, I? Yeah, they... Um... They're separate models. Yeah, you'd re-roll one. Hmm. It's one. It's one gun. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. That's nasty. I don't like that. Oh wait, re-roll. Okay. Um, so four, so four uh, torrents auto hit. Strength four, so I need fives. Uh, I get two. Re-roll for being twin linked. I get another one, so that is three at minus one. So I could kill him, but probably not. I'm going to roll one at a time. Yeah. Okay, so I want to CP. Okay, so he's not going to die. So he does take two, though. Goes down okay, to one. Oh, I nearly got him, but nearly's not enough. Nearly. Okay, are you nearly fire and fading them? I would like to fire and fade them, or okay. strike and fade for two, two CP. Two CP? Yeah, because I believe it just needs to be a Drukhara unit. Uh, at yep. the... Scourge Wraiths. into the Wraiths. The so, Talos just moved to there. They did. Four Dark Lances hitting on fours, but I empowered them. Don't need them. Four hits. We love that. Strength 12, toughness six. six so twos. Three. We have three wounds at minus three. Three wounds at minus three. Uh, again, we're going to roll them right at time. Yeah, slow roll them. Nice. Saves. Saves. So oh, oh look. Cocked. That's a bit cocked. Ah, that was a six. Oh, yeah, it's six definitely a six. It's probably a okay, six. Okay, so they all saved. Oh, no. Scourges, you're killing me. Death Jester? Um, oh, actually, I do have this little shard carbine from Oh, me. yeah. <laughs> so this will be where this, all the, this is this where the big damage is. This is what will kill them. Uh, That's not cocked. on those rolls. That's cocked. That one's uh, cocked. Okay, so I'll re roll that one. Uh, okay, so I have the one from Empowered. So I do get three hits. They're not infantry, though, are they? No, mountain. So no, they're beasts, sorry. Toughness was six, yep. so I'll actually need sixes to win on a shard carbine. No. And they will do their three yeah, six inches. Hey, okay, Death Jester into the race. Yes, so he's going to choose his sustained hits profile because yeah, yeah. there's no reason not to. So hitting on twos, hopefully for some sixes. No. So two hitses, two uh, two hits, yep. strength six, so, so fours. fours. I get one wound at minus one. Saves. Oh, no damage. Look at them rolls. Oh, no. <laughs> um, well, I was not... I wasn't expecting that either. No. I was, I was hoping that I was going to have one left. That's what I was hoping. Yeah. Ouch. Well, I definitely should have moved those other scourges out. <laughs> um, so that's going to be it for my shooting. Okay. Okay, command phase. Uh, I have got some reanimation on the Hexmark Destroyer. I only get a one, so he's up to two wounds remaining. Um, and then we've got to start thinking about what we can do to kill stuff. Um, because Patrick's playing a good game, he's just scoring points and not giving me any, so which is very rude. It is. Very rude. Yeah. So I'm going to have to pull something out of the bag, otherwise I'm not going to actually get anywhere or do anything, so... Let's try and um, let's try and do something. Okay, this Doomsday's moved up, the Triarch Dog has moved round, this Triarch Dog has moved round. Flayed ones here are, um, what are they doing? Deploying teleport yeah. These ones have stayed in the objective. Uh, these Wraiths moved over, done one mortal wound to this back Cavalite squad. Um, these Wraiths moved up, these Wraiths um, advanced over. He dropped in here, these have dropped in here, these have dropped in from Strategic Reserve, they've got some line of sight onto the Talos. Mm. Um, and he's moved up to get some line of sight and then mandrakes at the back. Okay. If you had enough movement with those wraiths, you yep. could move them up and then back again and effectively do the same mortal wound thing to them. 
technically because I fly, but I don't think. Oh, I had I someone do that to me at <laughs> the team's tournament, as I know. Like it would have been a nine, would have been on top of them, so I would oh, have okay, to get back. Okay, so let's do some, some shooting. shooting. So I we're going to start off with this hex mark destroy here, shooting into them boys. I see some dead cavalites in my future. Uh, that's hope so. So one miss, and then wounding on twos. Yeah. Oh dear. So only three, minus two. Three at minus two, so they've got cover there. Yeah. Um, so effectively minus one. So I'm saving on fives. I save none. So you got one was, left in that squad. Yeah, yeah, it was this back squad, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll leave the uh, Sybarite alive. Okay, next up is, we'll do the Flamer off of the Triarch Stalker into these guys. For 10. Oh no. So I'm wounding on threes, because it's only strength, oh, strength five. So that is seven. Minus one. Three. So you have got six, one in cover. Seven. Uh, doesn't the flamer ignore cover? Oh, it does, yeah. Yeah. You're right. yeah. So I will just have to take uh, a bunch five of five ups. ups. To be fair, that's not a bad roll, not but bad roll. it is going to kill them. So off they go. Ugh. Killing them four? Yeah. So you still got one behind, yeah? Yeah, I think that will be the way to do it. Because okay. Um, you can still just charge into the wall, probably. Mm -hmm. I basically just pick them up because they're the ones I could see. Oops, sorry, I've knocked a wraith yep. over. Sorry, sorry. So I'll do the wraiths over here. I'll do them into that same unit I've just shot. At. So the one guy is on there. Yeah. So twos, and then this will be threes. Uh, there is a devastating wound, so he's dead. Yep. It was this guy right yeah, here, wasn't it? it? Yeah. yeah. And then I'll charge the other guy and hopefully kill him. Poor lad. Okay. Um, then we'll do the shots from the these guys. I'm just wondering if I pass CP to rerolls to wound. Depends who you're shooting at, I suppose. I'm just shooting at the Talos. Oh yeah. Oh, well, I'm strength 14. So you'd be winning on twos, yeah. but I do have a minus one to win strap. You do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot with this guy first into the yeah. Mandrax. Minus one to hit on there. Yep. Yeah. So D6, so that's five, so six, so that's seven because of the plus. Oof. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm plus one to hit because of the Technomancer and then minus one to hit for them. So I'm hitting on freeze. Oh, that's not good. And then win or twos. That is one, no, it's not devastating, so just three. Five off and vulnerable. Oh, I do make all three. Wow, look at that. Wow, nice. Love that. Mandrakes don't want to die. They don't. So then we'll shoot with, yeah, then three over there. I think it's the only thing I've got left to shoot with. So um, <clears throat> in this, they're not in range. You can't see anything, no. So we'll shoot with them into these guys. Uh, are you, um, when do stratagems get allocated? Okay, so these three into these two here. So I am hitting on threes. That is not what I wanted. Oh dear. So I will pay a CP to reroll one. So it's two hits and then I am wounding on twos. It's two wounds at uh, AP4. Okay, so six up in vulnerables. I do make one, which is lovely. Damage. Six. Oosh, two, four, six, five up, feel no pains. I make two, so I take four, four damage, damage down to, I'll put it on that back Three. One. Yeah, I don't really know who's the best one to take it on. Okay. Um, that's fair enough. I wasn't. I was expecting if I killed one, it would have been great. Yeah. Um. So that is the. Uh, no, it's not. I'm going to charge over here into that cavalite for a seven. Nice. It'll be tucked in. 
around. Cool. Oh, I'm happy just to pick him up if you like. Okay. There is absolutely no chance that he will survive that. Oof. Beautiful. Three wraiths slapping him. Okay, so we'll go into Drukari. I just scored deployed teleport homers again. Yes. So we're going to Drukari turn three. Okay, so my command phase for turn three. I've got a bit of a wraith problem in the middle, which I need to do something about. I don't know what I can do about that. I don't know if I have enough shooting. We'll see. Because I need to get through a lot of invulnerable savers to deal with that, basically. But I do need to clear that because that's where I score teleporters and um, cleanse. So I do kind of need that cleared. And I'm also starting to think about my end game. Obviously, I ideally want to be on three objectives at the end. Okay, movement. The Drukari have come out. Two Talos here, two Talos here, Ravagers, Scourge. Scourge, Ravager, they've all come out to shoot. They have, yeah. Apparently, it's the day for killing wraiths. <sighs> These uh, advanced up and they are doing the deploy teleport homers. Yeah. And then this unit of over here is doing cleanse. Yes. So, uh, shooting phase. It's going to be a brutal one, I think. I hope so. So, what are you starting with? So, uh, to start with, I have to do all my empowering. Yes. So, I am probably going to just spaff and empower everything at this point. Yeah. So, because if this shooting phase doesn't work, I'm pretty, pretty fucked. How so many so, you got? Six? Uh, I've got six pain tokens. Yeah. So, I will spend one, two, three, four, five. Six? Six, I think. Yeah. 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 Because if they do manage to kill maybe one of these, mm -hmm. they would become empowered for the rest of the game, which would obviously yeah, make yeah. quite a difference at cool. this point. So let's see who's in range of a Kronos. So obviously these two, mm -hmm. uh, these three, him, and them. So I have managed to get everyone in Kronos. Right? So six. Six, four ups. Four up. Let's see what I can do. How much pain do we recycle? We recycle exactly the average, the average yeah, amount of three. Pain. We like that. That's, that's so you've got three left. I will absolutely Beautiful. settle for that. Yeah, I'm more than happy with that. Okay. Let's, What's up next? Let's do some shooting. So I need to figure out who can only see one thing, basically. Yeah. So these. So it, 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 it's got to be these, hasn't yeah. it? So let's go with um, the Scourges first, because if the Ravager somehow killed all three, I then couldn't strike and yeah, those. Yeah, yeah, So let's do the Scourges, Lances, hitting on fours, but re-rolling everything. Average roll again. Uh, into another average roll. So I've, cool. I've got three. exactly average of three. So wounding on twos from strength 12. You are. With three wounds at minus three. Okay. I save two. Okay. One of them will automatically die. It's D6 plus two. Oh, yeah. It's got uh, three wounds, haven't they? So, yeah. One kills one. Uh, we'll take him. Makes sense. You know what? I am going to shoot the shot card line. Yeah, why Even not? though I'll be wounding you on sixes. Um, three hits. Wounding on sixes. I have wounded you once. Look at that. Same. No. Wasted one of my four ups, eh? Yeah. <laughs> All I want is for a shot card line to do something that's... My dream. Okay, Ravager into the two remaining raves. So hitting on freeze, re-rolling. Nope, so we've got two hits, wounding on twos. One wound. Four up in bomb. Saves. Yeah, at least you've got a lot of stuff you can still shoot at. I have. Do I strike and fade this Ravager? I th think I... Don't. No. I think I want to strike and fade one of those okay. because if one of those did blow up, it would kill. Yeah. Um, it would do more damage. I think is the only real thinking there. Okay. So let's start with the scourges. Yep. Oh, although actually, no, they can see both. Okay. Uh, we'll do those Talos yeah, because yeah. they can literally only uh, yeah. throw hail eyes into them. So we've got the Talos. These aren't empowered. So these are just hitting on fours. Yep. Um, not re-rolling anything. They hit two times. Um, so strength three. So sixes, but re-rolling from twin linked. 
Nothing. Nothing again. Oh, that's not very good. So we can get at least one six there. That's okay. So, so you've got the two ravages and the other talus. Yeah, I think they can all basically see everything. Yeah. So I mean, if I would shoot with this one first because he might not. If you kill, if you were, it depends what you're shooting at. Yeah. Well, I was thinking the scourges need to be able to. Fire and fade. Fire and fade. So yeah, do them first. Yeah, yeah. so I'll do them into those those uh, those two there, and I kind of want to get rid of those before I start moving back. Because mm -hmm. uh, they're dangerously close to getting into my. So which my one are you doing these ones? Yes, yep. against these ones with the scourges. Yeah. So the dark answers hitting on fours. Uh, so -rolling. we got two hits. Rerolling from empowered. So we three. got one extra for free. Wounding on twos. Two wounds. Two wounds. Uh, Minus three. Let's roll one at a time. Saves. Saves. Apologies, Patrick. Uh, I apologize, <laughs> mate. That's gross. These should be right. dead already. <laughs> <laughs> the shard car, mate. The thing uh, is, you rolled really bad in the last barrel report. Now you're rolling yeah. and I'm just rolling to, insane. Yeah, to be fair, my, my rolls haven't been too bad. No, they've been all right. Um, so the shard carbine, uh, no, that's still a miss. We need on sixes. sixes. Oh, oh we did two wounds with a shard carbine. You'll get cover. Uh, yeah, one one wound. Hey, we got a wound with a shard carbine. There you go. Your dream has come true. It has. It has. Right. Just jump these lads back where they're safe. Yep. Okay, Death Jester next. Yep, so he's going to pick his sustained hits profile, yep. shooting at these guys again, hitting on twos, uh, no sustained hits, that's unfortunate. Strength six, so fours. Yep. Um, that is two, ooh, wounds. two devastating wounds and ooh, one devastating. save at minus one. So it does both go through. Nice. Uh, oh, hang on, minus, because he would, no, devastating wounds happens at the end. So mm. he dies, yes. and then he goes down to one wound. Yeah. And because a model died, uh, they now need to take a battle shock test because death is not enough. Okay. They fail. Oh, excellent. So I get a pain taker from that. Mm -hmm. Death is not enough. It's not, apparently. Okay, next up. Right. I would quite like to fire these Talos. Now, my hope was that I'd be in 12. You are in 12. I am in 12. I don't think you're in 12 that one. No. So, I am not by looks of things. No. So... This guy yeah. is going to fire everything into that wraith yeah. because he couldn't see, and yeah. the other one is going to fire everything into okay. him. Yep. So let's see. So I'll do the one at the back first. Yep. So I did empower them. Yep. So Haywire's Haywire. hitting on fours. That's not going to do anything, but empowered. Okay, so we got one hit and wounding on sixes, re -rolling. but re rolling. So that's a three. Into a two, so that's nothing. You got the oh the, li the liquefier, yeah. So five. Auto hits strength four, so I'm wounding on fives. That's one wound, but I'm twin linked. Oh yeah, twin linked flame. Yeah, yeah. The the liquefier is quite nice. nice. So that's two? two wounds at minus one. Not ignoring cover though. So it will be free up saves. Nope, yep. he does die. Nice. So I get a pain token from killing a unit. Yeah. And they are now empowered for the rest of the game. Very they, nice. They so killed him. the hex mark destroyer. So the haywire's first hitting on fours. Both misses. Reroll. And we reroll from being empowered into both hits. Love that. Strength three, toughness five. Was yep. it? So I'm looking for fives. One wound currently, and I'm rerolling for twin links into another wound. Two at minus one. Okay, I'm going to roll these one at a time. Saves. Saves. Oof. Flamer. Yes. For five shots, I'm getting quite getting quite good rolls to be fair. The flamers are good, yeah. Yeah, so you auto hit shrink four, so I'm wounding on fives again. Oh, I do get three wounds, look at that, and re wound wound. twin oh, legs. Four wounds. So four wounds at minus one. I love that. <clears throat> one at a time again? Yeah, yes. I'm gonna yeah. one at a time. Saves. One. Fails. So it's down to one. So I'm gonna keep going. Saves. Does fail. Yeah, I'll spend a CP. Yeah, why not? You got loads, haven't you? No yeah. one else can shoot him, so. Exactly. Yep, saves. Ooh, that's rough. They are really giving me some trouble, those guys. Four up in bonds, mate. Yeah. The whole list is built around it. Yeah, yeah, the, the four um, up in bonds is, is great. But I have rolled insanely well for four up in bonds. <laughs> You're right. Okay, so Ravagers? 
Yes, so we haven't fired the Ravagers here. So we're basically going to... I'm going to fire this one first, obviously, yep. and I'm going to start with... If this is a unit here, I'm yep. guessing? Yeah, yep. the front three, yeah. So let's fire a Ravager at that, hitting on freeze, re-rolling the misses from being empowered, which is very lucky because I missed two there. Okay, into three hits. We love that. Uh, winning on twos again. Um, into two wounds. Two wounds. One goes through. Uh, yeah, just kills a Wraith. Um, so the next... Are you fire and fade in that one? I was. Thank you very much for reminding me. So he'll move so back that's behind two CP. there. Yeah, so that's two CP. So you're down to two? Is that right? Yes, that is correct. Yeah. Okay. And then the other Sweet. Ravager? The last same Ravager. Target? Same target, yeah. Hitting on freeze. That's not very good, but I did empower him. Thank God. Into three hits. three hits, love that. Two Wounding on twos. Three wounds. I can't CP re-roll, so... You can't. Oh, uh, when you did CP re-roll, could yeah. I use my Agents of Vex thing on Just it? To, um, to CP increase roll. the cost of it, yeah. Uh, so they're dead. Nice. So another, another, power, another pain token? Another pain token. Yeah, I need to remember that I'm running the Arkan again, so I can do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, thanks, for, thanks for letting me do that. Okay, okay. so that, that, that's the end of my shooting. And I don't think I'm going to charge anything. I would, I would, uh, the tiles are already out, so I would love to get them. Try and charge this. Oh, I need to come out two. Yeah, you, because they're then, literally 12, like 11 away. Yeah. Uh, 10 away. 10. Oh, so if I made a double six, 12, I could yeah, probably yeah. do it. Yeah. Um, and they're, they're empowered, so I get to reroll it for free. So I will do that just because. Why not? It'd be huge if it went off. No, and no, no, nothing. Okay. Yeah, it'd be nice to get rid of him, but never mind. Uh, so you score two for cleanse, three for teleport homers. Yes, indeed. So I need to kill vehicles and monsters because if I don't, I've lost the game. So it is 49-49 well, after I scored my primary. Um, so it would have been 39-49 going into turn four. So um, I need to start picking up some vehicles um so i need to roll battle shop for the hex mark yes he does pass he's good uh d3 for reanimate for just the one he doesn't like to get more than one wound back a turn apparently he's gradually healing yeah um i didn't pick up the destroyers because i can move them the ones at the back i can move them and get line of sight on to quite a few things I'm thinking about moving these up to try and get another Ravager at the back. I don't know if that's just being greedy and I might need to shoot in here, but I've got a, I think I've got to push this turn and see if I can kill some stuff because he's still got a lot of small units left that are able to score points. So if I can get rid of his main stuff or a lot of it, then um, he will be a lot more muted when he comes to shooting at me. Um, and then I can like try and push up and maybe kill some stuff. So we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna go into the movement and um, try and kill some Drukari. Movement. The Wraiths moved over these and then done a mortal wound to them. Um, these guys moved up into the middle. He has moved up here. He got overwatched by this Talos. Um, he did do a wound to him. And he is got some... I was very lucky actually with the saves. Um, he's got some... Again, <laughs> he's got some um, <clears throat> shots on these Scourge, which is nice. Um, these moved up to get some shooting on this Ravager over here. The tree out stalker just moved up. He hasn't got any shooting, but um, this tree out stalker's got some shooting on his Talos. And then these all at the back have shooting on basically stuff all along here. So we're going to start with what's the stuff that can actually see. So we might as well start with the um, hex mark on the Scourge. Yep. 
So we are hitting on twos. All here. We are. Oh, we are uh, wounding toughest three. So probably. on twos. Nasty. So that is five wounds at minus two. Uh, is this death wounds or? No, no. Okay. Five wounds at minus two. Five wounds at minus two. So uh, that will be five up in vulnerables. So I'm. Uh, I saved two. So three dead. Three dead. So I will kill the solar right. And these two at the back. Yeah, definitely kill the ones at the back because then if you move, yeah. <laughs> I can shoot him. So I can't if he, they can move out. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. Okay, um, so next, and then we'll go with this guy. Everything into them. The Talos? Yep. So I'll play my minus one to wound on them. Okay. So... Um, do I want to re-roll wounds? How many CP have I got? Uh, is it important I'll re-roll wounds on the other ones? No, I'll play re-roll wounds here. Yeah. Okay, so D6 plus one for six. Four, five, six. I am hitting it on twos. And then I am wounding on... Threes, seven. threes now, yes. because of the minus one to wound. Well, let's see some twos. Oh, I do see one. Oh, I, I see two. I do have some re-rolls. Oh, of re course, yeah. 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 Okay, so that's the dev wounds. So that's four. Okay, and yeah. we do them at the end? Yes, it's at the end, yeah. So I have four saves. Yeah, so six ups. And they are minus four, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, so the cover won't make any difference. So, uh, yeah, so, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't matter. Um, oh, I do make two. two. Very nice. Very nice. So I've got eight damage. So, so I can the take the first one. So I can take the first four on the guy yeah. behind the cover. He only saves one, so he, he does, does die. Does he does explode? He explode? <laughs> Please don't. No. Oh, thank God. Right, so I've now got eight, eight to take to do, yeah. on the last guy. He could survive. I hope he, he does. He does on one wound, I think, yeah. Okay, then the small shots. Oh, if you can finish him off, that's pretty big. They are devastating. Oh, okay, right. So I roll those three now and just. Um, no, sorry, not devastating. They're, oh, they're not. They're oh, lethal, lethal, lethal. Sorry, right, right yeah. Uh, so it will be just the four wounds. Any. Eight oh, wounds? hang on. I'm rerolling to wound. Ah, yes, you are. Uh, doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, no AP. So three ups. Freeze. Oh, one does go through. Please shrug it. He doesn't, so he does is he dead. Uh, hope not. No. No. But that is some, some bring it down score for you there. There is. And that's my empowered Talos gone as well. So Good. Uh, yeah, yeah, no more. Um, I think this guy's within 18 of him. I reckon so, yeah, because you can measure to the prow now. Yeah. So. so we're going to go with the Melter. One hit. One wound. That wound. It's going to be on its invulnerable. Nope, fails. It's just D6 because it's not in melt range. Oh. But it is a six. So that will be down to five. Okay. Um, let me have a think. So the guy at the back here onto this guy. So five shots. Hitting on twos. All hit. Wounding on. Strength 14. Freeze. Oh, so strength yeah. 16. Oh, so, uh, yeah, freeze, yeah. That's eight devastating wounds. Oh, okay. and that, that's on that Ravager. Yeah, yeah. So that's just dead. Doesn't explode. That's but good. You are absolutely stacking up the bring it down at the moment. Good, good. That's what I like to hear. Yeah. Okay, then we'll go with the three Lockcast Heavy Destroyers at the back into the Talos. Uh, no, we won't. We'll go with this guy over here into the Talos, the other... Um, Doomsday up because he hasn't got any other things either. So it's four shots. Hitting on twos because of heavy. Wounding on twos. Oh, so that's just two. Are you re-rolling wounds or was that just, just there? No. Nope. Okay. It's just on this one. So sixes, I'm assuming it's minus four again. I fail both. Eight damage. Okay, so two... Four. Uh, so I can take all these on one guy because that was seven wounds. Yeah, yes. So let's see if he survives. I he think does. he does, yeah, on two wounds. Okay. 
Doesn't really matter. Three wounds. Um, yeah, you're right. I can't do math. Okay. Um, then we'll go in with the lock casts. So hitting on twos because of the leader. And then we are wounding on twos and rerolling ones because you're a monster or vehicle. I am indeed. Didn't need to. It's min minus four. There are actually lethal hits on fives, but I don't know if any rolled any. It doesn't matter because they're wounded. They all go through. That's uh, straight six damage each. <laughs> so the first one will be, yeah, it's a six on that one. He's definitely dead. Does he explode? I don't know. Let's find out. He doesn't. Okay. Two. And then you've got so, 12 damage on the next guy. Six. I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. Well, why not? <laughs> I mean, I've seen it before, so... Yeah, no, I think, I think he is, um, he's going to be very gone. Yeah, look at that. So. Does he explode? Nope. No. Okay. So that is another two Talos gone. Okay, and then we'll do the Lockhust Heavy Destroyers on the other side into the Ravager. Do you want to pay the... You were talking about the minus one to hit. I've only got the one CP. Is the minus one to hit one CP? Yeah. So, well, I, I've got one CP, so I, I could do it, but... I'm wondering if next turn I'll need the strike and oh, phase. Okay, yeah, yeah. Because I've I've screwed myself over with that to before. Try and get points. Yeah. So I think I'll leave it because okay. I don't think it's gonna save it. So Okay. So I'm hitting on freeze. Two hits. Yeah, it wouldn't, yeah, it wouldn't have made a difference. No. And then wounding on Is this on this one? Yeah, yeah. wounding on freeze. <laughs> Two wounds, six up, uh six of wounds. Uh, yep, that both 12, go 12 damage. It's dead. It does, it does not, not explode. Not had any explosions today. That's so quite rare for me. Okay. Um, and then I've just got the Wraiths to shoot into the Cabalites. You've just got 14 points on Bring It Down from that. Oh, good. That's caught me up. <laughs> yeah, just, just a bit, yeah. Okay, so the Wraiths into the Cabalites. Oh, my poor boys. All hit. Look how they massacred my boys. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so it's two devastating wounds. Okay. And it's only strength five, so it's four four wounds, four normals. So you'll any, be in cover. So uh, three, but it's zero AP. But yeah, so freeze, yeah, 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 because you do get. So another one dies so, and two. So three total. Um, Just leave them in there. For yeah, now, yeah. There's there's one left basically. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, that is my turn. No, apart from the charge. I don't think I've got anything else I'm going to shoot. No, so, charging. So, let's just roll the charge. Oh, look, they're in. <laughs> okay, we've got. Okay, the Wraiths into the Cabalite. Okay, Ooh. yeah. He's probably going to die. <laughs> Patrick yeah. said I'll just pick him up. I was like, oh, I'm hitting on four. So, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it turned out to be alright. Uh, T3. Yeah, so that many wounds. Nice. Are uh, they dev wounds or is Eight. that just... No, yeah, nine wounds. Oh, yeah, that's probably... Might only minus one, though. So, what, five ups? Yeah, two, four, six. How many was it? Eight? Nine? Nine. nine. I mean, if you make it, it would be glorious. But... It would be glorious. Uh, I made one, so he's, he's dead. Okay, I'll get him out of the way. Okay, cheers. Um, yeah. Okay, so that is the turn. I score three for deployed teleport homers. You do, and a fat 14 uh, for bring it down. I'll get more than that. Oh. I think, because I just killed that last one. So... Um, two, four, six, eight, and then oh, yeah. three and three for yeah, six, right. so yeah, for 14. 14, yeah. Okay, 14. Let's, let's go into Drukari. Okay, so I took a lot of damage that turn. A lot of my damage dealers are gone. I really want to get in here to deploy teleport homers again. I'd love to be able to cleanse again, but what Patrick's done is very clever. He's got a lot of Overwatch stuff right in the middle, right where I need to get, and all I've got is some flimsy little cavalites that can get there and I feel like they will very much die to that overwatch so they might get burnt alive they they very much might so it's going to be a bit of a tricky turn for me I don't know if I can claw it back but we'll we'll find out
Okay, so these Mandrakes advanced, so did these, and they got on there. I overwatched them with the Hex Mark. Actually, first the Scourge moved out, I flamed them with the Tree Art killed them. There was only two. And then the, so Patrick had to play and draw, draw out my uh, overwatches, mm. and then I killed one Mandrake over here with the Hex Mark. Uh, got very lucky there. Yeah, the Cabalites moved out of the Venom, which is tucked up in here. Yeah. Over to here, so he's got two units of Mandra um, Cabalites in there, sorry. And then he's the Death Jester's going to kill a character because that's what he does. Um, these boys are just tucked up. These have moved around to get some shooting on the wraiths. And these are all sort of tucked up in yeah. here. Yeah. So, shooting. Pepper the destroyers a bit. Okay. Just be warned that if you shoot the destroyers, whatever shoots out in my capacity, be to shoot back. Oh, shit. If you kill a model. Oh. Just warning you. Okay. So just something to think. With the whole unit? Yep. Well, obviously I'll be a model down, mm. um, but I can play the strat to bring one back and then shoot because they happen at the same time so I can choose which one happens first. Oh, that's really nasty. Yeah, and they're quite good at it. I don't actually know what to do about that. Um, do you want to start with the shooting into the wraiths? Because I don't think they've got yeah, any other. So the Scourge? That, oh, you're empowering first. Yes. So, um, I mean, I'm going to empower basically everything I can. So these guys, because they're yep. shooting at the wraiths. So one, two, three. And then it's the question of... Uh, you might as well empower that stuff and just get the four up because it's sound four anyway. Yeah, you're right. So... One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Uh, and I think everything is basically in range, range of a Kronos. Yeah. yeah. Let me yeah. Sure. I think the only thing that's maybe not is the Mandrakes, but no, they are as well. So. Or is it nine inch range, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty, it's pretty good. So six dice. Six dice. What do I get? Uh, I literally get every back. single okay. one back. What a roll. Worth doing. That was very worth doing. Yeah, just free empowering. <clears throat> the Kronos is uh, doing, his, doing his little mm. stuff. So. Shooting. Yeah, let's leave that problem for now because yeah. that's going to be a, a so really nice scourge thing. first, so they can move. Yes, the scourges. So four shooting lances into the wraiths, yep. hitting on fours, but re-rolling the hits. Two hits, two misses. Into yeah, just just two hits, wounding on twos, two wounds at minus three on those uh, on those wraiths. So one's dead. Yep. Uh, yeah, one's dead. Nice. And then oh yeah, shard carbine. Can't can't forget that. All three hits, ruining on sixes, nothing. So, yeah, let's zip them back behind. Or into the wraiths. Eight. Ten. Uh, hitting on threes and re-rolling because I did empower them as well. Yep. So, those are misses. Um, we have those. All but one hit. We all but one. Wounding. So, strength five, ruining on fives with sixes yep. doing dev wounds. So very nice. We have yeah. So two saves, two three regular wounds. wounds, three dev wounds. Yeah, love that. Uh, they fail both, so <clears throat> one dies, one's on one wound. Yeah, nice. Well done, Mandrakes. That was very very good from them. Uh, obviously, these guys will uh, deploy teleport Homer. Yeah. The Cabalites with just a splinter weapon yeah, will yeah. cleanse there. Doesn't matter which ones. The Death Jester. Let's do him yeah. into the the guy there. Obviously, I'm going to choose sustained. the sustained hits, hitting on twos. Got so that is nice. So you sustain two or three? Three. Oh, very That's nice. Huge, yeah. So we have strength six, toughness five. Yep. So freeze with dev wounds as well. So I did get some dev wounds. He's dead. Yeah, nice. Okay, get a pain token from that. Well done, Death Jester. Actually, Ravager? Yeah. You deciding whether you want to. These can't charge, can they? Because they're advanced. Yep. Very true. So I think the Ravager has to shoot at that Wraith. Because I don't like what can happen here. <laughs> yeah, because you, you, the chances are you're not going to kill all three with a Ravager and then two of them shoots back. That could be good night. Hmm. And I don't have anything else that can shoot this no. Wraith, which I do really need dead. So I think I have to go for the Wraith. Okay. Um... As much as it, as much as this is a problem, there's not a whole lot I can, I can do. Okay, so yeah, we'll, we'll do that. Yeah. So, uh, hitting on threes, 
re-rolling because I empowered everything. We don't need it. Twos. Wounding on twos. Come on. Okay, so three wounds at minus three. He did. He three did. ones. Uh, nice. Oh, look at that. Eight pain tokens. What on earth is going on there? Okay. So, I will then pay two CP to strike and fade yep. this lovely lad behind here as tucked in as I can possibly get him. Yep. So I did empower everything there. So let's go with... How many wounds do these guys have? Four each. T6. Free up save. No one. Okay, so the the Cavalites and the Archon are going to shoot into the Destroyers they because are. he doesn't want the Kronos or the mm. um, Venom killing one and then mm. them shooting back and killing it and getting yeah. it down. So what's cool here is the Arkan gives me re-roll wound rolls of one on yep. the unit that he shoots, but when he's empowered, he gives them full wound rerolls. Nice. So although I'm only shooting you with crappy splinter yeah, rifles, yeah. I will at least get to re-roll on my wounds. But I will um, shoot the, the, blaster? the blast pistol, yeah. yeah. So hitting on a two, because the Arkan's great, and it's strength eight, your toughness. Six. Six, so I'm wounding on a three. three. Nope, but I did empower the unit. No, oh. oh, we hate that. Really don't like that. Okay, that's all right. Um, so two, four, I mean, it was only gonna kill one and I'd bring it back Six, anyway. yeah, eight, 10. Let's see if the splinter rifles do anything. Yeah, they might kill one. They might. Hitting on freeze, but re-rolling. So I'll get to re-roll those. Nice. Yep. Strength three, so I'm winning on sixes. Six yeah. But I am re-rolling everything. The only time I can uh, really get some good wound rerolls. Any okay, AP? so uh, no, just two AP zero. Both saved. Okay, well, that was a little disappointing. Quite well. Do I charge with the Archon and the guys? They would just then be out there to be flamed. But you could probably just walk out and flame them anyway with his movement. Nine. Probably. Oh, yeah, yeah, you could. So he's not safe regardless. If they stay in melee, you'd have to fall back with these. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, that can't shoot them. So yeah, they're not good in combat. They're like, they're like two attacks each. Yeah. Um, Hitting on freeze, strength four, and IP. Yeah, they don't really look like they, they want to be in melee. So I, I think I will charge. Yep. So I'm not going to empower them in the charge. In fact, fuck it, I'll, I'll empower them in you the charge phase. Yeah, don't get it back, down seven. Boom. Uh, we're in for a seven, so don't get cool. back, but that's okay. Okay, so the Archon and the boys are empowered. Archon in the fight and the phase. boys, yeah. So I believe the Archon has five attacks. I will double check it though, because I haven't fought him in melee for a while. Okay. Um, what about Cavalites? Would they get two? Uh, two attacks each, I believe. Yeah, so Archon has five attacks, hitting on twos. Rerolling everything, because I have empowered them, which is good. Okay. Very nice. So, um, six. yeah, so six is to wound, but I am empowered, so I do get to reroll them all. That's in combat as well, nice. Yeah, uh, I believe so. Two. One sec. We're just checking. Each time a model in that unit makes an attack, we yep. roll a wound roll of one, yeah. yeah? Yeah, so yeah, it does apply, yeah. So, so two wounds at minus two. Minus two. Uh, one goes through. Two damage okay. from his husk blade. Yep, so one's down to two. I'll just nice. it over yep. and out. So we've got five cabalites, so two, four, I believe they're two attacks each. I'll double check, because again, I don't follow them. I melee. think they are. Yeah, I don't follow them. Melee. Yeah, two attacks, I thought they were. So two. No AP? No, no, two, four, six. Eight, ten, because this is the um, all of the regular splinter rifle ones, so they don't have anything special. The Sybarites have a, a better weapon, but so freeze is it? Or yes, freeze, freeze rerolling. Well, they missed a lot there. It's good, but I can reroll them. Okay, sweet into all hits. So sixes. again, sixes rerolling. Yeah, rerolling. So just oh. got the one, uh, another two. So three, AP zero though. Oh, I do. Another wound. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he was on two, wasn't he? Sorry. Okay, yep. Okay, that's the turn. I'm, I have no CP. So you get the point to let bombers and cleanse. Yeah. For one, for, for two points. Come on, phase, turn five. Um, 
I'm going to heal over here to get three out back, so they're full wounds. Um, I picked up the uh, unit of Lockhouse Destroyers with the Lockhouse Lord who had Vale um, at the end of the turn, at the end of Patrick's turn, so um, I'm, I've got a little space at the back here, which they've got like a slot into. Um, and then we're going to see if we can kill some stuff uh, um, and get deployed to Teleport Homers basically, just try and max them points out and maybe try and get him away from um, the middle because I need the end points. I don't want to give him away, but it's going to be hard to keep Patrick off him, I think. So let's get into it. Flay ones have moved up, he's moved round to get some flamage. Uh, the other Trio Stalker is doing deploy teleport homers. These boys dropped out of combat. Um, did they all want to drop out of combat? Probably should have just stayed in actually. You can go back and change if you want. Mm, no, nah, I'll just leave it as it is. These boys teleported over here to try and shoot this Ravager. Um, oh, and then We've advanced him up so he can shoot, just to just get some shooting on here, maybe some mandrakes. Um, and these boys have moved up at the back as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with this guy. We're going to shoot into the big gun into the, what's he called? Uh, oh, Death Jester, yeah. Yeah, and the small guns into the mandrakes over there. So we'll do the small guns first into the mandrakes. I don't think I want to pay rerolls to wound here. Uh, no. So, uh, hitting on threes. No, fours because they're mandrakes. Yeah, yeah, the minus one. And it's just these ones. Yeah, wounding on twos. It's got to be yeah. threes. Oh, uh, it's just one. Okay, it's only T four. All oh, right, nice. That's uh, it does fail, so I kill do... one. Yeah. Come on. Then into the death just star. Four three. Nope. Um, then we'll do the hex mark into these mandrakes. We'll hit five wounds into those mandrakes. Five up. Five. Yep. Uh, make one, so four die, and there is only four, so that's them gone. And then I'm going to flame these mandrakes. Yep. For eight. Wounding on threes. So that is four, five, six, seven. Uh, nope, that is them gone. Exactly. Good, good. Saves a charge. Yeah. Yeah, and no, that's really good because that stops me, uh, stops me picking them up. Yep. Yep. Uh, and then we'll go with the guys at the back. We are going to do reroll wound. Uh, cool. Yeah, reroll wound. I'm going to spend CP on minus one to hit on my Ravager, which I assume is what you're shooting. Yep. So I'll be hitting on freeze because they're plus one to hit. So freeze. All hit. Wounding. Ooh, wounding on T9. Freeze. Yeah. Rerolling because of reroll wounds. Yeah, good shout. Oh, oh wow. Jeez. It's not going to kill it. Uh, so six off and vulnerable. Nope, goes through. Six damage. Down to five. Oh, that's a shame. Mm. Okay, I think that is my shooting. I don't think that the these can see anything. So that will be me. Nice. Uh, so we'll come back with Drukari. Okay, my round five. So basically what I now need to do is score deploy teleport in the middle. Uh, my mandrakes are dead, so I can't pick them up and put them back down over there. I need to cleanse there. It would be very nice if I could cleanse there as well, but I don't think I can because Patrick can overwatch twice with his hex mark, which is really, really strong. So it is basically, yeah, going to be a case of um, how many points can I score on secondaries and maybe take that at the end, but we'll see.
Okay, so what happened in the movement phase is basically there was some advanced rolls made. This is the only unit they got on there. They got um, flamed and uh, one has survived. So he is OC2 and my hex mark I'm pretty sure is only OC1. So if he kills the flayed ones, he will control the objective and be able to cleanse it. Because it cleans, you have to control the objective at the end of your turn. Um, which will also be big because it will hold it and get the extra five points. It will, yeah. So it could swing the game. So um, Patrick is as um, empowered these three units and this unit over here. Yeah. So Sorry. who are you going with first? So hang on, let's just, no, I don't get any back. So one, two, three. Um, they're deploying, so four. So yeah, I'm just down to one. Just in case I yeah, charge yeah. or anything. Yeah, I don't yeah. think I will. But Okay, so um, let's see who can not see as well i think it's that venom yeah so we'll start with that venom yeah so hitting on freeze but yep. re-rolling because i empowered them so i get three hits and they're sustained and re-rolling into okay so basically just evens out yep. so anti-infantry three so that is three three at minus one uh I'm going to take it on the ones that would get cover. Yep. So uh, this will be four ups. One's dead. Okay, one guy dies. Nice. You're being cover. So I think I will now go with the Ravager. Yep. So it, all against the flayed ones again, because yep. that's literally all that matters now. So that is three hits, mm. wounding on twos. Ha! <laughs> one oh, wound. Dear. One wound, uh, I'll take them one in cover so I get a six up, would I? Minus three. Yeah, so go down to a three so it'd be a six up. Nope. Oh, you did? Should kill him? One. Oh, what on earth is going on there? So, okay. The other venom? Yeah. I'm just thinking, if I'd have done something in a different order, if I'd have figured out that I couldn't advance those cab lights on, I could have then moved the death gesture out to shoot as well. But it's all right. So... Venom hitting on threes, re-rolling everything, which is good because I've missed four times. Okay, no sustained hits, anti-infantry three. So I do get four wounds at minus one. You've still got something cover, haven't you? So I don't go for that from that venom, yeah. So maybe not. So two die. So I'm going to take these two, and I don't think you've got many that can see there. I think I might just have the one Cabalite Warrior. Okay. So, is it going to come down to whether a Cabalite Warrior can kill a, a Oh, my word. So, he will get to reroll hits and wounds because he is um, empowered and the Arkans in his unit. Yep. So, hitting on freeze. Okay, so he hits both times. Anti-infantry three. Yep. So he wounds once, but he's re-rolling because he's empowered with the Arkham in his unit. So that is two wounds at AP0. I can't see Pit because... Um, uh, I evicted CP reroll, yeah. So he is dead. Oh. I believe that has won you the game, but we will see. Oh, we'll see. No. Okay, post-game chat. Mm. So it came down to the wire. It really does. It ended up 91 to 90 <laughs> to Patrick. To the Drukari. Yeah. What a game. It was really, really close. Yeah. Both scored well. So, um, if I'd got that bring it down for the Ravager, yeah, you would have won, won me yeah. the game. Yeah. yeah. I would have uh, I would have won by two. Yeah, and you got really unlucky on that roll as well, didn't yeah. you? Yeah, so that was really And with your six up in van, I was like, the chances are it dies. Yeah, I only need two yeah. through. Yeah. And I had the re-roll um re-roll wounds. Mm. Um so I put the minus one to hit on it, but I don't think that actually made any difference, was it? It was literally just no, that was, you, I think you... It was the wound roll. It was the wound roll, which I, you could re-roll. Re yeah, re-rolled it back into one and two. Just atrocious luck yeah. on that. But, Very you cool know, point. I had good luck in the beginning with the saves and stuff on the race, so I, I, can't suppose, com yeah. I can't complain about the dice. The dice were definitely uh, with me. Mm. Um, I think it all sort of balanced out in the end. Yeah, it pretty much did, really. Um, but yeah, it was a really good game. So I, I think really with, good, the, yeah. with the fixed, you scored... Um, 31 yeah and i scored 31 yeah which is great really for i mean yeah. I, I feel like anything above 30 for for uh secondaries is is so you know, looking pretty good where did oh no i scored 30 and you scored 31 oh okay so right. we both maxed out priority targets because, yeah um because i forgot you only needed 10 didn't we so your extra five you got didn't matter 
No, it didn't. So the the no. beetle didn't matter. It was only that cleanse. It was literally just the fact that the, that one just died. Just the cleanse, yeah. yeah. So if I'd managed to kill him in the Overwatch, mm. you know, um, yeah, maybe I should have Overwatched. I think I'd done the right thing Overwatch with the Flamer. Mm. Um, I got 10 hits at the end of the day, so yeah, it, was, yeah. it was pretty good. Um, it was a risk, but yeah. So, yeah, what a game. Just yeah. really, really close. I really good. I don't think... Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything... Maybe I should have left this guy... I mean, maybe I could have left him on and put him round on a rotation where he still. He, I probably could have done that. Maybe yeah, it's a misplay maybe because me. He, well, because he was looking to shoot those mandrakes, wasn't he? Yeah, Who, but I tell you what. Why well, the reason I've done it is because I thought if I don't, I'm going to charge him. So yeah, I, I just thought I can then move round like that. Mm. Um, and it, to be fair, it was quite important to do that because obviously I would have picked yeah, him up if he, he hadn't got extra points yeah. on deploy. So yeah, it was just mm. a really tight game, really interesting. Like I say. If I'd got the Ravager, would have won the game. Yeah. If I'd managed to kill that extra Cavalite, yeah. it all just, it was just a really good game. Really good really fun. Was, yeah. really, a lot really of good. thinking, like think, movement. Oh, like, we yeah. were just like, oh, here, We, here, we both here, had here, a couple here. of turns where we were just staring at it for a while, yeah. trying to figure out what we could do. I said to Patrick, maybe you shouldn't have brought them Talos into the back to yes. shoot the race. Maybe you should have put it into either the, maybe the Tree Arcs or mm. the Doomsday Arcs because I, they're not effective into Wraiths as, as effective. But yeah. obviously, I know you wanted to get rid of all them Wraiths. Yeah, it was because when I first started firing lances into them, I was just like, I was killing so. Yeah, yeah, it made me think, oh, I need the I need the Devil wounds from the yeah. Talos but but it didn't come off but no. yeah but the, to be fair as you were saying like the the um Doomsday Arc Doomsday Arc did do a lot of damage into vehicles mm. so if I had gone for him it might have stopped yeah, him getting yeah. some bring it down yeah, so you, you, you maybe could have killed him yeah so you were probably right to say to go for go yeah for him. so I do think um yeah it was just a really good game I think the fixed mm. worked for both of us I mean at the end of the Definitely, day we yeah. both scored 90 like if yeah. we were both going to be in around 90 with how we scored it um, yeah, maybe I could have just nicked it at the end. You nicked it in the end, in the end. Mm. So it was just, yeah, just a really, really good close game. Both got like quite a bit left on the table. Enough stuff to do things. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah. I really like the list. I really like the lock cluster. Heavy lock cluster yeah. always been the list instead of like the lock cluster because it just does that extra damage, that straight six damage. You know, if yeah. I just got two through on that. Ravager, boom, yeah, it's and gone, that's, that's you know? just the dice being, fixed, yeah, yeah, basically. It's dice, it's, you know, it's, it's a nice game, you, <laughs> yeah. You've got, you've got to have a bit of luck to win a game, you know, yeah. at the end of the day when it's there's, close there's like this. No way to kind of, you know, guarantee that stuff like that won't happen, yeah. But yeah. I really liked your changes to the list. You had a lot mm. more cab lights, didn't you? And yes, they were I, able to come out and do things. I'm and really and liking, points. yeah, I'm really liking the, the cab lights. I think I was. Before I wasn't utilizing, you know, my my OC two units very well, and now yeah. I think that they, it's doing a lot better. Yeah, yeah. But, no, I think it's no, really I, I, good. I really like your list. I think you've got you've got some really strong stuff here, and I like that you've done it without going for down the route of just the classic like yeah. warrior blob. Try or to be a bit different, and I I, mm. I I think that the way I've changed it, and also now playing fixed, mm. like I'm really going to try and play fixed as much as I possibly can, unless I think it's same. just terrible to play. Yeah, fixed. same here. I think the uh, LGT, the only time I didn't take it was when I went up against Black Templars in round one, because I, I was originally going to go up against Chaos Space Marines round mm. one, and my opponent didn't show, so oh, I went okay. into Templars, which yeah. I just, I was not really ready cool. for at yeah, all, yeah. no. Like, like game plan. Yeah, the, yeah. Well, I mean, to be honest, even with the game plan, I don't think I could have pulled it through, but yeah, just so many Crusaders, and they just absolutely swarm yeah. you. They're, they're a real, real tough one. But Yeah, no, they are. Um, but yeah, yeah I think... Um, I'm really happy with how the game went, and like I say, it could have gone either way. Um, Definitely could have, yeah. But scoring 91 and 90, I don't think either of us can be too upset about that. No, I really can't, no. Obviously, it was a KG start because I knew he had the, the guns to really like destroy me, and obviously, I had the guns to destroy his stuff. Oh, so absolutely, yeah. We had to be KG, and, but I think we both played it well. And, yeah, to, um, get, to get 14 on Bring It Down in one turn, you just absolutely cleaned yeah, yeah. up. That, that <laughs> yeah. was at turn four, wasn't it? it? Was, that was pretty nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed it at home. Please like and subscribe if you did. And we will see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.